Hello friends, this video on thermodynamics part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. Told that thermodynamics we deal with only with the initial state and final state. And that's why we have something called state function and path function. Let's, let's define the state and the path function. So state function is something whose value depends only on the state of the substance not on how it is reached. For example was volume where if you see the river, I take one river example, I have not drawn the picture, this is my river and it is water. Do I care from where the water has come, where it has come from tributary 1, tributary 2, tributary 3 or some drainage factory or some drain from the home, I don't care. I just care about the volume of the water that river has. Correct. So the path from where these re the water has come, I don't care. So thus, if you see the volume is generally state function. I don't care how the volume came, right? Or in, in the flask also, if you're doing an experiment, for example, if you're doing, if you're doing some experiment in the flask and you need, let's suppose, um, uh, let's suppose 40 ml of water, 40 ml of water. So do you care whether this 40 ml this 40 ml has come from a tap 1, tap 2 or you pour this using test tube or you pour this using some flask. Do you care? You don't care. You just care about the 40 ml of water. If you have 40 ml of water, that's all for you. You don't care from where you got this. Where 10 ml you, you got from the water, 10 ml you got you put from the test tube, 10 ml you uh, take from, took from your friend, 10 ml you took from your teacher. You don't care. You only care about the 40 ml of water. Correct. So such kind of thing where you just care about the final or initial state, you don't care how you got it. That is state function. Here also if you see typical example, they are a guy and girl, they want to go to home and they are both starting from this point. So this is a single point they're starting. So they don't, you don't care actually. Uh, if you don't care, uh, you just want them to reach home, whether it's even this path, this path or this path. You don't care. But if you talk about things like how much energy is spent in reaching from uh, point A to this home for this girl, that will differ based on the path. So if we example, if she takes this path, so if she takes this path, she will have to cover more distance. So the work done for this girl from moving point A to point D is different in all these paths because if she walk more, she will need more, she, that means she has done more work. So such thing, for example, work will not be a state function. That will be path function because that is dependent on the path, path you take. Correct? So path function is something which is dependent on the path you take. For example, here the work work is a path function correct because from here to here if she is going she is doing different amount of work right if she is or if she is a, let's suppose i mean you can just see the four different paths in all and all these different paths still have to do different amount of work to reach this form so the work done will be a path function that depends on the path check. correct so let's take some example for the state and path function. Is volume state or path function? Yes, it is a state function. We have seen that uh, if you are doing an experiment in the lab, you just care about a volume of, uh, let's suppose, water or uh, any acid required. You don't care how you got this. Do you get from beaker 1, beaker 2, beaker 3? Do you uh, put using test tube? You don't care. Temperation? Yes. It is a state function. Why? For example, uh, same case, I suppose, you, know, you have this beaker and you want to maintain uh, 80 degrees Celsius for some experiment. Do you care if you are getting this 80 degrees Celsius from a Bunsen burner, burner here, or you are putting some immersion rod here, or you uh, got this uh, hot water from a geyser and you are using it? 
or are you using firewood do you care you don't care you don't care how this hpv celsius temperature came whether it was a hot water from a geyser where it was a bunsen burner the diagram is little bad the drawing is bad or it was a wood fire or it was a heater you don't care or whether did you use a microwave oven to heat this water you don't care you only care about the 80 degree celsius temperature so it is also a state function pressure same thing with the pressure you don't care how you got this pressure if you're doing some experiment you want some let's suppose five atmospheric pressure you don't care how you got this whether you did some chemical reaction to get this pressure whether you uh, for example in this case you you have put some iron here and you squeeze the volume to get the pressure or you are uh, uh, pressuring with your hand you don't care or you're doing some hydraulic device you don't care you only care about let's suppose five atmospheric pressure that's all you care you don't care how you got this pressure so pressure will also be a state function density density will also be a state function you don't care how you got this density for example you had this water uh, you had milk actually you had milk with some density and you want to make it a little thicker for example this was density one and you wanted to make it density two little thicker little thicker more dense more dense you want to make it do you care whether if you are using microwave oven to heat this up and uh, uh, reduce density or you're using some uh, uh, gas lpg gas or you, are you using wood do you care you don't care you just care about different densities you don't care how you got this right whether you use microwave oven you use a heat, uh, heat maybe heater to heat this boil this and did you uh, increase the density or did you use um, lpg gas and uh, the gas stove and this tawa or did you use a uh, wood you don't care how you got this you only care about density so it is also a state function same thing with the mass for example i want 10 kg of iron do i care if i got this 10 kg from 10 different people each 1 kg each and i got 10 kg or do i care if i got 2 kg from uh, 3 people and 4 kg from one and got 10 kg each total or do i care if i get got 10 the whole thing from my teacher i don't care from where i got how i got the 10 kg do i care if i have put 10 kg one by one i don't care i just care about 10 kg so it is also a state function internal energy do i care how the internal energy is changed i don't care i just care about the internal energy the current internal energy of the system i don't care how it is achieved the internal energy also is a state function okay heat is heat a state function this is tricky part heat is not a state function heat is a path function see when you talk about heat you talk about heat flow or heat transfer correct so let's suppose i take one system and i can't say the heat is this much this is we can't say Heat is applied only when, let's suppose, there is a hot object and there is a cold object. When they are in touch, the heat flows from hot to cold. And once they are in equilibrium, the heat doesn't flow. Right? So heat flow doesn't happen always. It happens only during a process where the uh, two objects are in different temperature. Correct. So I can't say that heat is a state function that I can't say for sure because for example I have some uh, a flask with some water just with this flask with some water I can tell that the volume of this water is this so volume is a state function I can tell the temperature of this water is this some celsius so temperature is a state function I can tell the pressure here is this I can tell the pressure also some x atmospheric pressure I can tell density of water. So the density is also a state function. I can tell the mass of water also, mass is also a state function. For this, I can tell the internal energy also. So internal energy also is a state function. But heat I can't tell. Heat comes only when this water is in touch with some hot object, a cold object, and then the transfer of heat takes place. Right? So heat is nothing but heat flow. So it is not a state function. It is not a state function. Correct? When you talk about work, work is also not a state function. Example I showed you. 
For example, there's one guy here. I have to reach this destination. I can take this path. I will do more work. In this path, I will do less work. Similarly, the next example I can take is the length. Length is also not a state function. If I am saying that I have to go from uh, point A to my point B, so the length is different if I take path 1 and if I take path 2. The length will be different. right? Or if I take path 3, the length will be different. So length is also not a state function. So if you see, heat, work and length are not a state function. They are path function. Other things are generally state function. Also, for state function, you can just tell that this is the correct. So heat and work is not a state function. Please note that heat and work is not a but the uh, trick part is internal energy if you see it will drive this law is nothing but heat plus work. These two are not state function but internal energy changes the state function. This is something which is strange right and a good example to explain this is for example I have to expand some gas. So from this volume I have to expand to this volume and making sure that uh, uh, this has let's suppose pressure per one and volume V1 this guy also has uh, pressure it expands pressure V1 so one way can be if you want to maintain the temperature if it expands since you are keeping this constant we have this uh, PV is equal to NRT gas equation we have to supply some temperature some heat some heat we have to supply or if you want we can expand adiabatically also where we don't have to supply any heat and it will expand. In that case there will be work done by the system. There will be some work done by the system. So if you see in both cases the internal energy change is same. Either this is my gas. I have to expand to this, this much volume. Right? Both has gas. So there are two paths. One option I am saying is you heat this. And other option is saying the work is done by system, adiabatically. In both cases, the change in internal energy is same, but if you see, the path is different. So if you see this Q and W both are path function, but the change in internal energy is a state function. We'll discuss more of these when we uh, take some examples. Similarly, we talk about a state. If we take an example of a car, just in case you are a little bit confused with the thermodynamics world, let's take the car. We talk about car, we talk about things like what is the location of this car, whether it is point A or point B. What is the orientation, whether it is pointing to this side or pointing to this side, east side, west side. What is the speed of the car? So all these are state of the car. Correct? Because with that, see at a given point, we can tell the location, orientation, speed. So these are the states, these are the states which define the state of the car at the point A. Similarly, in the thermodynamics world, when I say this is a flask, it has water, I can say that how much volume of water it has, what is the temperature it has, what is the density it has, what is the pressure it has, what is the mass of the water it has. All these are my state function in the thermodynamics world. So similar to car, we have uh, states of the system. So as I told, pressure, volume, temperature, and the composition of the system, that is the mass of the uh, uh, system, for example, this is my flask, it has some water. So all these uh, pressure, volume, temperature, the mass, density, all these things are my state of the system, the chemical system to be more specific. And these are my state systems, state variables. As I told, state variables are something which, de which depends only on the state and my examples are pressure, volume, temperature, internal energy, mass, density. And we define the chemical system by the state variables, not by the path variables. Correct. So, as I told, my thermodynamic system, for example, we have a gas, you can define the state of the gas by telling its pressure, volume, temperature, the number of moles, etc. So, those things, those parameters will be using more often to solve various numericals in the thermodynamics system. And these variables, pressure, volume, temperature, number of moles, all these are my state 
variables. Correct. And please note to define a state for system, we don't define all. Even if we know pressure volume, we can find temperature because we have this uh, gas loss. Uh, so uh, if you know some parameter or if you know some state variable, you can very well find other state variable also. So you don't need to de define all the properties. Even if you have some properties, some state variables, you can find the other ones. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.